Having your own Rust server is a very good way of practicing things you want to improve at like practicing monuments, base building, helicopter flying, clearing the ore rigs and military tunnels, taking the Bradley APC and taking the patrol helicopter. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own Rust server and a few useful admin commands while we're at it. First of all I'll show you guys how to install the Rust dedicated server software. First, you need to head over to the link in the description, scroll down, and download steamcmd.zip. Next, unzip it. Now you're going to make a folder where you're going to be installing the files for your server. Next, go inside the folder you just created, and create a text file called update and open it in Notepad. Next, paste the first script from the description into this text file, and replace scmd directory with the location of steamcmd.exe, and replace directory with the directory of your server folder in quotes. Save the file and rename it from update.txt to update.bat and run it. Now steamcmd will install the files required for your server. While the files for the server are downloading, you can set up your server startup script. First, create a new text file called start, open it in notepad, and paste the second script from the description into it. Now I'll be explaining the most important convars you can use and you can customize them to your liking. All of these convars are included in the startup script provided in the description, but if you don't want to use some of them you can just remove them from your script. If you are new to hosting your own servers you shouldn't change server.port at all. You can use server.hostname to set the name of your server in the server browser. Server.max players can be used to set the maximum amount of players that can play on your server at once. Players above this will be put in a queue and admins can join regardless of how many players are on. Server.worldSize can be used to set the size of the server's map. Server.seed can be used to set the seed of the server's map. And Server.saveInterval can be used to set the amount of time between server saves in seconds. Now that you have your startup script, save it and rename it from start.txt to start.bat. Now that you have everything you need to start your server, before actually starting it you need to pour forward it. For this, open a command prompt and type in ipconfig. Copy the default gateway IP and paste it into your web browser. Next, log into your router. If you don't know your router's username and password, you might be able to find it written on the router, or if you can't find it there, you can check the link in the description for a list of default passwords for a lot of routers. Next, you need to find port forwarding in your router settings. Once you've found it, paste your IPv4 address from the command prompt into the server IP box and put 28015 into all the boxes for ports and save these settings. If you also want your server to have Rust Plus app support, you also need to port forward port number 28083. If you need help with port forwarding, you can check out portforward.com for help, or you can join my Discord server and ask me, link in the description. Now that you've port forwarded your server, once you start it, other people can join by typing into the console, connect IP colon 28015. You can get your public IP by googling what's my IP. Apart from that IP, you can also join your server by typing in the console connect localhost colon 28015. Now that you have your server port forwarded, you can launch it by running start.bat. Once your server is running, you can set yourself as the owner by typing in the console owner ID steam64 ID. You can also specify a name after the steam64 ID if you want to. You can get your Steam64 ID by pasting your custom Steam URL into steamio.com and copying it from there. You can also set up additional moderators by typing into the console moderator ID and their Steam64 ID. Now that you have your server fully operational, I'll show you a few useful admin commands that you can use. But before I do that, here is how you can get items. Press F1 and at the top of the window click the items tab. And now you can browse items by categories, or you can search for a specific item and you can add items by clicking on them. You can also get them in stacks of 100 or 1000 by clicking the 100 and 1k buttons respectively. Now let's move on to the commands. env.time can be used to set the time of day on the server. env.progressTime can be set to false if you want to disable the day-night cycle. And kill can be used to destroy the entity you're currently looking at. Spawn entity can be used to spawn things in. Spawn.fill underscore groups can be used to respawn all loot at monuments. Del asset slash bundled slash prefab slash rat town can be used to delete all the loot at monuments. God can be set to true or false to toggle god mode. While god mode is enabled, your hydration and hunger bars are locked and you can take damage from anything, 
and radiation is disabled entirely. Teleport to Marker can be used to teleport you to the location where your marker is placed on the map. Noclip can be used to toggle Noclip. SV weather.load preset can be used to load a weather preset. Presets include clear, dust, fog, overcast, rain heavy, rain mild, and storm. Heli.call can be used to call in a heli event onto your server. Kick name can be used to kick a player from your server. And ban name can be used to ban players from your server. If you want to update your server to the latest version at any time, just run the update.bat file again while the server is offline. I hope this guide helped you guys, and if it did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you really enjoy my content, you can join my Discord server and chat with me, or you can consider becoming one of my patrons on patreon.com slash thememishgamer, or you can click the join button next to the subscribe button to become a channel member. I would like to thank Bothered Nickel for being my patron, and thank you guys so much for helping me reach over 7,350 subscribers.